the book that made Warren Buffett rich. Author Graham defines an investment operation as one that, upon thorough analysis, promises safety of principle and a satisfactory return. By contrast, a speculative operation is one that offers the chance of a high return, but also carries a significant risk of loss. Many people confuse speculation with investment and are drawn in by the allure of quick profits. This is a dangerous approach, as it often leads to losses and disappointment. Mr. Market is a moody fellow who offers to buy or sell shares in a company at a particular price each day. The intelligent investor should approach Mr. Market as a business partner rather than a source of investment advice, and should only buy or sell when the price is right based on their analysis of the company's underlying value. Diversify in investing. A portfolio of carefully chosen stocks can offer both safety and a satisfactory return over the long term. Spread their capital among a range of different securities in order to reduce the risk of loss. The investor and inflation. Inflation can erode the purchasing power of money over time, and that can have a significant impact on investment returns. Investors should take inflation into account when evaluating the performance of their portfolios. Inflation can benefit some types of investments, such as stocks and real estate, because they tend to rise in value as prices increase. However, inflation can be harmful to fixed income investments like bonds, which may offer a lower rate of return than the rate of inflation. To protect against the effects of inflation, investors should consider purchasing stocks in companies that have a history of increasing dividends over time. These companies may be better able to withstand inflationary pressures and offer a reliable source of income for investors. Consider purchasing inflation-indexed bonds, which are designed to provide a return that keeps pace with inflation. These bonds can offer a hedge against inflation for investors who are willing to accept a lower rate of return. Do not attempt to time the market in response to inflation. This is a difficult strategy to execute successfully. Instead, focus on building a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds that can withstand inflationary pressures over the long term. Consider inflation as a factor in investment decisions and offer practical strategies for protecting against its effects. A century of stock market history. The stock market has experienced significant fluctuations over the course of the 20th century, with periods of rapid growth followed by periods of decline. Be prepared for these fluctuations and should focus on building a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds that can withstand market volatility. The level of stock prices in early 1972 were historically high compared to earnings and dividends. To evaluate the level of stock prices use price to earnings PE, ratio, which measures the price of a stock relative to its earnings per share. High P.E. ratios may indicate that stocks are overvalued and may be due for a correction. The impact of economic factors on stock prices include inflation, interest rates, and corporate earnings. Changes in these factors can have a significant impact on the performance of the stock market and should be taken into account when making investment decisions. The Defensive Investor the defensive investor is a conservative investor who prioritizes safety and stability over high returns. The defensive investor seeks to minimize the risk of loss by investing in high-quality, low-risk securities. They invest for the long term and avoid short-term speculation. They prefer to invest in established companies with a track record of stability and profitability, and focus on diversification to reduce risk. The defensive investor accepts lower returns in exchange for greater safety. Defensive investors should focus on high-quality, large-cap stocks that have a long track record of stable earnings and dividends. The defensive investor should avoid investing in stocks that have a high degree of uncertainty or volatility. The defensive investor creates a well-diversified portfolio of stocks, consisting of at least 10 to 30 different stocks from different industries. Be patient and disciplined in the face of market fluctuations and the defensive investor should be willing to hold on to their stocks for the long term. Focus on investing in high-quality stocks with a long-term perspective, and avoid speculation and excessive risk-taking. For example, new or unproven companies are often touted as the next big thing but may not have a proven track record of success. By following these principles, the defensive investor can build a portfolio of common stocks that provides a stable and reliable source of income and long-term growth. 
The Income Investor The income investor, on the other hand, prioritizes generating a regular income stream from investments. They seek out high-yield securities such as bonds, preferred stocks, and dividend-paying common stocks. They invest for both income and capital appreciation, but place more emphasis on income. They are willing to take on slightly more risk than the defensive investor to achieve higher income, and may accept lower diversification to focus on income-generating securities. The income investor may also use leverage to increase income potential. The enterprising investor. The enterprising investor is a more aggressive investor who is willing to take on more risk in pursuit of higher returns. The enterprising investor seeks out undervalued securities and actively manages their investments to try to achieve above average returns. They may use various investment strategies, such as value investing, growth investing, or special situations investing, to achieve their goals. The enterprising investor is also more willing to accept short-term volatility and risk in exchange for potential long-term gains. The offensive investor. The offensive investor is someone who is willing to take on greater risk in order to achieve higher returns. This type of investor is typically more experienced and knowledgeable about the stock market and is willing to do more in-depth research into individual stocks. The offensive investor should focus on investing in common stocks rather than bonds or other fixed income investments. Investors should seek out undervalued stocks with strong growth potential and hold on to them for the long term. Investing in common stocks can be risky and offensive investors should be prepared for the possibility of significant losses. Investors should only invest in stocks that they have thoroughly researched and understand well. To mitigate risk, the offensive investor should diversify their portfolio across a range of stocks and industries. Investors should be patient and disciplined in their approach, avoiding the temptation to make emotional decisions based on short-term market movements. Mr. Market and the Stock Market Mr. Market is highly emotional and his moods can swing wildly from day to day. Some days he is very optimistic and offers to buy shares at high prices, while other days he is very pessimistic and offers to sell shares at low prices. Investors should view Mr. Market's offers as opportunities to buy or sell shares at a fair price, rather than as indications of the true value of the business. He emphasizes that the stock market is not always rational and that the prices of stocks can be influenced by a wide range of factors, including emotions, rumors, and speculation. Focus on the underlying value of the businesses and buy stocks when they are undervalued and sell them when they are overvalued. Investors should not be influenced by short-term market fluctuations and should instead focus on the long-term performance of the businesses they invest in. The Investor and Market Fluctuations It's important to understand that market fluctuations are a normal part of investing. The stock market can experience both short-term and long-term fluctuations due to a variety of factors such as economic conditions, geopolitical events, and investor sentiment. While market fluctuations can be unsettling, it's important to remember that they are not necessarily indicative of the underlying value of the companies you've invested in. In fact, market downturns can often present buying opportunities for long-term investors. One strategy for dealing with market fluctuations is to focus on the long-term performance of your investments rather than short-term fluctuations. This means focusing on factors such as a company's financial health, management team, and competitive advantages. By investing in companies with strong fundamentals, you can help insulate your portfolio from short-term market fluctuations. Another strategy is to diversify your investments across different asset classes and sectors. By investing in a mix of stocks, bonds, and other assets, you can help reduce the impact of market fluctuations on your overall portfolio. It's also important to maintain a disciplined approach to investing. Stick to your investment plan and resist the urge to make emotional decisions based on short-term market movements. By staying disciplined and focused on your long-term investment goals, you can ride out market fluctuations and potentially benefit from buying opportunities that arise during market downturns. The Investor and New Issues New issues refer to initial public offerings, IPOs, and other newly issued securities that are being offered to the public for the first time. As an investor, it's important to carefully evaluate new issues before investing in them. 
While IPOs can be exciting and offer the potential for high returns, they can also be risky. Companies that are going public for the first time may have limited financial history and may not have a track record of success. Additionally, the initial price of a new issue can be influenced by factors such as hype and investor sentiment, rather than the underlying value of the company. To evaluate a new issue, it's important to do your homework and thoroughly research the company and its financials. Look for information such as the company's revenue, earnings, growth potential, and competition. Consider the company's industry and the overall market conditions. Another important factor to consider is the company's management team. Evaluate the experience and track record of the company's executives and board members. Look for a management team that has a proven ability to execute on their strategy and generate returns for shareholders. It's also important to consider the valuation of a new issue. Look at factors such as the company's price-to-earnings ratio and compare it to other companies in the same industry. If a new issue appears to be overvalued, it may be best to avoid investing in it. The Investor and the Stock Market Bubble A stock market bubble occurs when the prices of stocks rise rapidly and exceed their intrinsic values, fueled by speculation and investor hype. When the bubble bursts, stock prices plummet, causing widespread losses for investors. As an investor, it's important to be aware of the risks associated with stock market bubbles and take steps to protect your investments. One way to do this is to avoid investing in overvalued stocks and instead focus on stocks with strong fundamentals and reasonable valuations. Another way to protect your investments is to diversify your portfolio across a range of stocks and industries. By spreading your investments across different areas of the market, you can potentially reduce your overall risk and minimize the impact of a market downturn. It's also important to avoid making emotional investment decisions based on market hype and speculation. Instead, focus on fundamental analysis and invest in companies that have a proven track record of success and solid financials. In addition, investors should be prepared for the possibility of a market downturn and have a plan in place to weather the storm. This may include having a cash reserve on hand to take advantage of buying opportunities, as well as having a long-term investment strategy that can withstand short-term market fluctuations. Subscribe to at Illustrated Books for new books weekly.